Hello. Um, today I'd like to demonstrate how the Cartesian diver works. I'm sure you've, many of you have seen this before. Um, this is a, a version of it uh, from Educational Innovations. Um, when you uh, squeeze the bottle, this is a closed bottle with water in it, the uh, squid, squiddy it's called, uh, will sink to the bottom of the container. And uh, I'd like to demonstrate for those of you who are not familiar with this, uh, how it works. And I'm going to use a test tube to illustrate this. So there's a test tube in this bottle, and it's about a third of the way filled with water. It's an inverted test tube. So it's, it's floating. Uh, in the water. And you can see that when I squeeze the bottle, I'm increasing the pressure inside the bottle. And that is causing the air inside the test tube to be compressed. So the, the volume of air decreases, pulling up water, making the test tube heavier with its contents, and causing it to sink. So you can see the water going up into the test tube as I squeeze the bottle. It might be a little bit clearer if I bring it a little closer. See the water going up higher and it sinks. And you can get it to even sort of levitate by just squeezing it and carefully causing it to just stay at one position. So this is a nice example uh, of uh, buoyancy and how you can make something become more buoyant or less buoyant or less buoyant by squeezing the bottle. It shows that air compresses more than water, than, than liquid, uh, and uh, the compression of the air when you increase the pressure is very visual with a test tube. And uh, so it illustrates a number of principles. I've been fascinated with this uh, little demonstration since I was a kid, my father showed me uh, it. I can remember when I was seven or so years old. And believe it or not, back then they didn't have plastic bottles. So he used a milk bottle and he put uh, a balloon over the top and pressed on the balloon to increase the pressure. And I thought it was the neatest thing. And I didn't really care very much back then why, how it worked, although he did try to explain it to me. But now I'm more interested in kids learning why things work in addition to just being fascinated by it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, explanation of the Cartesian diver. There's lots of things on the web about it. It's a fascinating uh, little uh, demo that's been around for many, many years, and I'm sure will be exciting kids for many years to come. So thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I look forward to seeing you next time.